Hi guys and welcome to another squad builder by myself, Bits and 87. As I promised, I'm going to bring you a non-rare gold team. You guys could use this as your fitness team, as no player in this team, actually one player in this team, costs just over a thousand coins and that is obviously going to be the German centre-back, which is Rüdiger. So if you guys do enjoy these squad builders, a like, rate, and would very much appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not oh, subscribed already uh, for pack opening, squad builders, and the Road to Glory as well on FIFA 16. And also if you do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com, their link is down below. So a non one rare team, guys, isn't the best. They're not the best players on the game. I think the highest rated player uh, we do have is an 81 rated non-rare. Now, I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass and say these players are the best on the game because they are not. They are non-rare golds. Um, some of them have decent hidden stats. Some of them are good if you use them correctly. Um, but this is a decent fitness team, and that's what I wanted to bring to you today. So, in the goalkeeper position, guys... And I will keep looking back at this uh, image I've got on the squad because I built it and I keep forgetting it. So we start off in the Serie A in the centre-back position and we do go with Rudiger on the right-hand side um, who a lot of people were looking forward to and thought it was going to be quite expensive. Uh, but if we go and look at him on the market, uh, he actually does go for just over a 1,000, I think. You'll see an open bid of him. Yeah, just over a 1,000, 1,300. In the centre-back position, goalkeeper position, sorry, we just started off there first. Uh, we do go with Neto, the Brazilian. Uh, goalkeeper from Juventus and uh, I presume he goes quite cheap as well. Now the reason we went with him is because of his height. I love keepers with height and you're going to pay a discard value for him as well. In the centre back position we do move over actually I'm going to go to the right back position before I move to from Serie A uh, and we do go with a player from um, Roma as well and it is Torresidis the uh, Greek 76 pace 77 defending 77 physical 70 dribbling not a bad little player for around discard in the centre back position on the right hand side we now move over to Brazil it's actually a nice looking team this like if you look at it um, from hybrid purposes it looks alright even though we do abuse the uh, the strong links like we always seem to do with my um, with my squad builders so we go with Manuel in the centre back position a lot of people remember him from previous FIFAs 75 pace 78 defending 80 physical and on the left back position we do move over to the Brazilian League now. Um, this is a bit of a mess. Just trying to get out of the defence. But it does get a lot easier after this player. So we go with Mena. 76 player, 71 dribbling, 72 defending, 72 physical. And I had no complaints with any of these players as... Um, I didn't really expect. I didn't really come to expect much of them because they're a non-rare team, but they actually did impress me uh, for the ratings they are. Now, in the CDM position on the left-hand side, we now move over to another league, and um, I think there's only two more leagues left in this, and then we're going to stay in this league. So we'll build the left-hand side first, which is League of One, and we do go with um, a Lucas. Uh, is it? Uh, Lucas Silva, yeah, Lucas Silva uh, from Marseille, ex Real Madrid as well, on loan to Marseille. Currently in the camp position, we do go with uh, Cabela from Marseille as well, getting the strong link to Silva. And then the striker position, we're using a striker who I love in my world to glory, and it is none other than the uh, striker Ben Yedder. Now his goal to game with me isn't that good, but that is because I'm using my main account. I'm partnering with another striker, and the other striker is ridiculous. Now, in the CDM position, we actually move over to the Bundesliga this time round, not the Serie B. Bundesliga, and we do go with um, a non-rare CDM. And if you guys have found any non-rare CDMs you like the look of, feel free to let me know, as I, I am looking for a, a lot of uh, suggested players to replace uh, with, with some of these. So we've got Schmeider back, um, 74 pace, 77 dribbling, 76 defending, and 74 physical, 72 passing as well for the CDM position. He links up in the camp position with Stindl um, uh, from Munch and Gladbach as well. 70 pace, 79 shooting, 77 passing, 77 dribbling. Good all-round stats. That's what I've gone for in the non-rare team. And then the final player to finish off this team, guys, we do go over striker who I've already done a squad builder with already. I think it was the rarest one. It is Raphael. 74 pace, 84, uh, 85 dribbling, and uh, also 79 uh, passing, 77 shooting, as well as the four-star, four-star, medium, medium work rates. 10 games, 7 goals. Absolutely sick. So, guys, that is my non-rare team built for you. If you go and build it. It's going to cost you 10,000 coins. You guys can get that in a matter of games with coin boost. You can use it as your fitness team as well. Um, and let me know what you think of it. Feel free to tweet me or even comment down below as well. So if you enjoyed the video so far, leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll be back in a sec to show you the highlights we did get with this non-rare team. So first of all, guys, remember this is a non-rare team. Nobody really rocks up with a non-rare team aiming to damage people's records. It's mainly to get the fitness back of your main team. And that's exactly why I would use this team. Now you guys know that I have got a stacked account with rare players out of my eyes, but I like to bring squad builders, which is affordable.
available for both me and you if I was to start a fresh account. Who knows, this team may even appear in the Road to Glory as my fitness team, but I think I'm going to keep it as a one league. But if you guys have got a few coins and fancy a nice looking hybrid, then this is the way to go. Now... Even though I say players are not good as non-rares, Raphael and Ben Yedda are two freaks. They are very, very good at finishing, very good at counter-attacking, and they're also very skillful as well. Even though they're not five-star, they are four-star skillers. Lucas um, Silva is very, very good as a CDM. Not bad at going forward as well as you will have seen him on the score sheet. Um, Stindle's very good, actually, for a non-rare gold. He's a, he's a tidy little player, um, but they are not the best players in the game. I'm not going to lie to you. I've, I've stated this in the video numerous amount of times. Everyone's a non-rare. That if you're expecting the world from them, you're not going to get the world. But if you do try your hardest, guys, you can definitely get results from this team, especially with the two attackers, like I did say. So if you have enjoyed this video, guys, a like rating will be very, very much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already. And uh, do remember that we do different variations of squad builders. And if you want to see any different ones done in the future, feel free to leave a comment down below as um, we have plenty of time, guys. FIFA 15 has just come out, and I'm aiming to get squad builders done and ready for you guys ASAP. So, until next time, guys, see you all later. Have a very, very nice rest of your day.